Hey everybody, so today I wanted to take the time to show you a method uh, that I use for rope walking. It doesn't involve a knee ascender and so it's a little bit cheaper and it also involves carrying less gear with you. I mean, that's kind of why I like it. I also seem to be able to take pretty good sized steps with it so I think it's, it serves pretty well for my needs. It does take a little bit of work to get it dialed in but none of the materials are super expensive and so it's, you know, it just takes a little bit of time. Um, I have shown this method on my channel before with my akimbo, which is what I regularly climb on, but I just happened to be on a job site today uh, where a friend of mine has his chicane and zigzag set up, and I wanted to give it a try on this device and see if it worked as well. I think it works even better. This, this tends a little bit easier, you know, like, there's not as much resistance when the rope's flowing through it, so I think it works really good, and uh, I just, again, I just want to share it with you, and if it works for you, that's awesome. So the first thing we do is we get ourselves tied into the zigzag. Then I have a, a short piece of rope uh, with a foot loop tied in one end with the bowline and just a smaller bowline in the other end. The length of this rope is super you know, important. You really got to get this right uh, for your size and the length of your legs and the length of your setup and everything. Um, it just takes a little bit of goofing around, retying the knots uh, to favorable lengths and that kind of thing. I also have one set up somewhere for use with the foot loop in the top of my boot. Um, I'm not sure where that's at right now, so we're just gonna use this one here. I then take this this little thing that goes onto my, my foot down there. I don't know if we, we call it a foot lanyard. Maybe that'd be appropriate. Um, I hook that right onto the carabiner that I'm tied into on my bridge. Uh, then what I do is I go ahead and I put the rope in my right foot foot ascender and then I take without falling over hopefully take another carabiner where'd I go oh here it is take another carabiner and I put that in the remaining carabiner hole on the zigzag then I have this special elastic neck lanyard that I made out of some hydraulic hose sheathing which is really easy to buy you can get it on Amazon and hydraulic stores and a bunch of other places I'm sure and uh, a little ring that I got from the hardware store for 50 cents or something like that and then a bungee cord like one that you just use to tie stuff into the back of your truck with I took the hooks off of it I bent the ring open put the ring on the little loops that they had already crimped in the end of the bungee cord and it serves as like a, a little necklace lanyard type thing I did have to try a couple different lengths of bungee cord to get the right length that suited my needs here um, but I believe it was worth the time and again these things are super cheap they're not expensive so what we're gonna do then is we're gonna take and we're gonna attach well we're gonna sit on the zigzag here first and we're going to attach that carabiner to our neck lanyard and that's gonna tend the zigzag for us so now all we have to do is is walk walk up the rope and what happens is the right foot ascender serves as a regular right foot ascender the zigzag serves as the knee ascender would, and so we'll take turns standing on it and standing on our foot ascender. And as you'll see here, I think it works pretty good. It is a little bit tricky. It wants to catch on my hands, you know as I'm going up because the zigzag and chicane assembly is just rather tall but it's not impossible and because that chicane and zigzag advances so well it comes right up with the tension the elastic tension of the neck lanyard and so whenever you get up to where you're going you just got to unhook this if you want to you would go ahead and unhook your foot lanyard there and then because this is on the carabiner that is, you know, a component of life support for you, it'd be super important to tie in with a flip line before taking your foot lanyard off of this carabiner. Um, but yeah, then you could, you know, basically all you have to do is stow this carabiner and stow this foot lanyard and you're good to go again. And in most situations, that's gonna be way easier to stow than a whole knee ascender assembly, in my opinion. And I think it works out really good. I mean, this definitely definitely advances on the line way easier than my Akembo does. 
and I think it's a winning winning approach to rope walking but teach their own if it works out good for you great and if not you know that's okay not everybody climbs the same way and not everybody has the same preferences and there's nothing wrong with that so we'll go on down now enjoy our nice smooth zigzag ride down And there you have it. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like to see more of my tree climbing antics, uh, feel, free to, feel free to subscribe. If you have any thoughts or comments on this system, whether you like it or think it's got problems, throw them in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you and love to hear your thoughts. Um, until see you again, hope you climb safe and hope you're outside enjoying the weather. Clipping it to your boot loop is a lot easier than wrapping it around your foot. I could make this not bigger though. That would make that a lot easier, I guess.